Morning, gang. It's uh, <clears throat> morning of day 45 or 46. Uh, early morning, but not as early as I'd like. But we're slept by an hour, catching up to Sierra, who's headed up the trail. We are eager to get out today, get a hotel room for the next few nights. She's meeting up with her boyfriend down in Lone Pine. <clears throat> I'll probably be hooking up with some other uh, hikers in Bishop. Um, <clears throat> and we're ready for it. You can tell I'm a little puffy-eyed this morning after 105, 110 miles over the last seven days here in the Sierras. You know, you're just ready for a warm bed. Actually, a uh, a nice hot shower, some food, and just cleaning everything up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, I'll admit, as much fun as it is out here, it's, uh, everybody's, you know, kind of got their trail legs and is in, for the most part, pretty good physical shape. It's a uh, mental game at this point. You know, it's uh, a lot of people are uh, looking at another 100 plus days on the trail, and it's hard to sometimes wake up and uh, <clears throat> keep wanting to do it. I know that's usually that's it for me most mornings. I love to be at home in bed and just uh, wake up, take a nice shower, eat some nice food. But instead, you get out <clears throat> feeling dirty, get onto the skeeters, find your uh, power bar for breakfast, cliff bar, pro bar, whatever, and uh, get on the trail and do it. But uh, once the juices get flowing and you see the scenery around you, um, you know you're you're cool with it. Um, but the trail town breaks are very welcome and uh, much needed. Um, I don't think anybody could carry more than uh, two weeks of food out here. I've seen, uh, there's one guy we ran into a few days ago, his name's Epson, he's from Norway. And uh, coming up on him, he had the biggest mountaineering pack I had ever seen, huge Gregory pack. And uh, sure enough, he was out for uh, 12 days um, for food, you know, because of all the food he was carrying. He needed a pack that large and he was slow going. Uh, we did the side trip to Whitney, and uh, we caught up. You know, he passed us while we were doing that. And uh, morning, how are you? Pretty good. And uh, you know, we um, caught up to him later, the next day, because he was moving so slow with all that food. But also, it's cool that here's a dude from Norway, a place that's on my short list that I want to travel to, and he's coming all the way over here to see spectacular scenery. So that says something. Um, Anyways, uh, we should be at the trailhead by early afternoon and a uh, 13 mile hitch into uh, Independence and then I'm getting up to Bishop, about 40 miles north from there. I should be able to Uber it or bus it. But uh, yeah, should be good, should be good. Looking forward to some trail ton amenities. All right, I'm out.